Hello, fight fans. I'm James Smith in this cornertv.com. High atop Mount Charleston in Las Vegas at the Spring Mountain Youth Center. Unbeaten WBA super lightweight champion Jesse Vargas takes on former two-weight division champion Timothy Bradley June 27th on HBO at the StubHub Center in California. Well, as you can see <laughs> by the mountains, Jesse is going old school for this, the biggest fight of his career against the best fighter in Timothy Bradley. And I mean old school, including bringing in former Mexican great Eric Morales, who will now take over as Jesse's lead trainer as he readies for Timothy Bradley. Well, first off, let's talk about Mount Charleston and the youth center. How, how did your camp uh, uh, come up here, way up here? Well, we made the decision to come up. You know, it's it's uh, a decision in the baking that's been, it's always been there. It's just all about having the, being financially stable to to be able to bring camp up here. You know, as a kid, I, I would run up here at 15, 14 years old, and I would always come up just for a uh, three, five-mile run, and I would love it out here. And I knew that the greats, the all-time great boxers would come up, uh, separate themselves from their family, concentrate in their training camp, in the mountains, in the high altitude, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying yeah. to do the same. I, uh, I have a, uh, a great trainer that did the same, and I want to do everything that all the, that all the greats do. Isolation and uh, and and altitude. And Eric Morales. Uh, first off, for the for the fans who don't know, uh, what is the Reader's Digest uh, version of what happened to Roy and why uh, Eric is in? Well, Roy, we we were good. Everything was good, but. Uh, as we all know, Roy's still an active fighter. And not only that, he's a commentator on HBO. He uh, has several things going on. He's a promoter. He has certain presentations that he he's obligated to present himself at. And it's just several things. And he wasn't able to be at in my training camp 100%. You know, uh, training camp started, and he wasn't able to, to be there when it started. But there was a time where he, he said he was going to be there present. And... Once I saw that he had a few trips within the time that we were in camp, I uh, sat down and spoke with him that this is the biggest fight of my career and that I did, I felt that I needed someone to be with me on a daily basis to guide my, my uh, training camp and to be the head coach. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to do that. So he, he, uh, he gave me the permission to, to uh, bring someone else in and, and guide me for this fight. I cannot think of a better guy though than Eric Morales uh, you know a guy I watched all the time had the ability to fight inside outside with fluidity uh, still gave uh, Mexicans and everybody everything they wanted what do you think about I know it's been you know short term so far but working with Eric Morales working with Eric Morales has been a great pleasure to be honest uh, I've never felt this comfortable with a trainer I why I, uh, why just per the, our personalities just right away they click uh, we understand each other uh, you know, I have the respect for, with him as a trainer, as an all-time great, and now as a friend. What are the best traits inside the ring with this young man? ¿Cuáles son las mejores? La mejor técnica, mejores golpes que tiene este muchacho. What does he do best? Ya hace mejor. Bueno, hace muchas cosas muy buenas arriba del ring. Plenty of things that, that he does well inside the ring. Eh, entiende las cosas, lo que necesita hacer. He understands what you need to do, what he asks of, este, of you. Tiene ganas, tiene, tiene juventud, tiene deseos de ser grande, tiene todo lo necesario. He has the desire, the desire to be something big. He, he, he's excited to learn, he's excited to get better. He has everything a champion needs. Now this young man and his like seven year careers had about five different trainers. I, if I could have picked somebody, first off, that, I, that I, it would have been a guy like you. Este muchacho ha tenido varios entrenadores eh, desde el principio de su carrera, pero yo me encantaría, y si yo tuviera la opción, me encantaría ver a el, Eric, el Terrible Morales como su entrenador. Because, because, you, when you, during your career, you could fight from the outside, you could fight from the inside, and at times I think, you know, he's the same kind of guy, he has the same kind of body, he can do the same things. Por la razón de que tú, como peleador, peleabas muy bien de afuera, muy bien de adentro, escogías dónde y cómo, y como tú querías, y siento que Jesse también tiene esas posibilidades. Bueno, primero que nada, te debo decir que eh, comprendo perfectamente lo que Jesse trata de hacer arriba del ring. First of all, I, I totally understand what Jesse wants to do inside the ring. 
porque al final somos mexicanos y tenemos una manera de ver las cosas y tenemos un sentimiento de, de que nos gusta expresar y que nos gusta que la gente admire. At the end of the day, we are Mexican fighters, and we do like to express ourselves inside the ring. We do want to impress our fans and show them what they want to see. Queremos que la que queremos que los fans eh, vean el valor que tenemos, ¿no? Pero para ello tenemos que saber saber cuándo, cómo, dónde y por qué. We want the fans. We want to show the value that we have as a fighter, uh, but we need to choose when, where, why, and how. We choose to do certain moves inside the ring. Eh, lo que tú me dices me, 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 me agrada, gracias. Pero bueno, eh, al final del día eh, es la carrera de él y él es quien decidirá cómo se siente, cómo lo, cómo, cómo, cómo se siente arriba del ring, cómo se siente cómodo conmigo o, o a lo mejor no, no lo sé. I am happy to hear that you would choose me as a trainer for Jesse Vargas as a good option for him. But at the end of the day, it, 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 re, it really depends on how he feels inside the ring, who he's comfortable with, and I uh, enjoy being here. And I would really like to stick with him. He, he has plenty to teach me, uh, a lot to teach me, and he knows, he teaches, me, he teaches it to me well, to the point where I can understand it. Not, not only that, but he'll get in front of me, and he'll, he'll almost hit me with a few punches, kind of like, this is the way I want you to throw it, which is pretty cool. You know, and uh, having Eric Morales in my corner, uh, an all-time Mexican great will uh, bring out just that extra fire that I need, you know, uh, in every round. You're going to need it the 27th against Timothy Bradley at the uh, StubHub Center in, in California. Your thoughts on Bradley as a fighter and then this fight? He's a, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. He, uh, he, he has his limit, you know. I think he reached it already. Um, you think he's peaked? I mean, what else can he do different? Yeah. You tell me. You know what I mean? Um, you, you're going to see the same Bradley. He says he has fire, but, you know, um, you put fire out with fire. You know what I mean? And I'm ready to, to do whatever it takes to win. If he wants to fight, if he wants to brawl, we're willing to pick him apart there. We're willing to box him. We're willing to do a little bit of everything. You know, we're going to confuse him. We have so many options to do inside the ring, so many uh, different type of techniques, two, three different game plans that Eric Morales has set up. I mean, there's really not going to be anything that Tim could do in order to to really you know, beat me in any round. Well, you asked me, though, so I'm, now I'm going to tell you, because nobody has better eyes than me in the whole damn sport, so I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I, I, if, I, if any issue I've ever had with you, it's that sometimes, and it may be because you had five trainers there, during the course of a 12 rounds, there'd be an identity crisis as to what to do, when to do it exactly, because you could do it all. And so my thing on this fight, the most important thing, you're both distance fighters, I think you can get more out of your power, especially with a guy like Morales, but just win every damn round. Just win each and every round. That's correct, and that's where I was leading to. Being up here uh, gave me the, the, the confidence to tell you right now, and it's a fact. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm ready to win every round, and not like in the past that I'd take a round off. You know, right now I'm ready to fight 12 rounds every minute, every second of the round. And, uh, you know, that, that sounds terrifying for, for Timothy Bradley. Let's, you know, bring it, man. Whatever you want to do, uh, I'm ready to counter it. And um, let's give the fans what they want to see. I'll give you six rounds and you're out. Well, you got plenty of stuff going on after this fight. We'll talk about that after. But look into that camera. Tell the folks what's going to happen on HBO on the 27th against Timothy Bradley. June 27th, the fight's going to be at the Step Up Center versus, versus uh, Timothy Bradley. It's going to be a great fight. Uh, it's, it's, this is a... Uh, my coming out party, just like all my friends say, all my fans say, this is my night, and uh, don't miss it. Best of luck. Thank you very much, Smitty.